He's over the bottom of the fifth inning. The Lemurs trailing 3-1 to one in this ballgame. For all of your vehicle collision repair and paint needs, there's only one place to turn. Mike's Paint Place. Mike's Paint Place has computerized color matching and digital imaging. They also do full frame and suspension repairs. Stop by and see Mike's Paint Place today at 6410 Polaris Drive in Laredo. In over 40 years, nobody's helped more families achieve the American dream of home ownership than Armadillo. In fact, Armadillo Homes has built more homes than all other builders combined. And there are reasons for this. Integrity responsibility, service, and of course, quality. So if you're thinking about making the greatest investment in your life, think of the one builder who's dedicated its entire life to helping the Laredo family. Think Armadillo Homes, armadillohomes.com. Go Lemurs. Breakfast speaks for itself here at Whataburger. It's gonna be hot, it's gonna be fresh. It's almost like when you're a kid and you wake up in the morning, you can smell mom cooking breakfast. I like their hash browns. My favorite is the honey butter chicken biscuit. I like the taquitos. We have some fresh cracked eggs here. I like these pancakes because they're fluffy. <laughs> I really like the fact that you can get into Whataburger real fast and bring it on the go. We're cooking breakfast for you at Whataburger. We all know we can accomplish more when we're ready. That's why I've chosen Texas A&M International University. I want a four-year degree and the opportunities that it brings. TAMU has welcomed me and more than 7,000 students from around the world. TAMU empowers me to greatness, ignites my mind, and propels me to my future and my impact. Imagine the possibilities when you're powered by TAMU. Register now for summer and fall. Visit TAMU.edu and get powered. Crazy inning there for the Wing Nuts as they take a 3 to 1 lead after scoring one run in that inning. They led off with a Harrison Kane single. He then stole second. Jace Ray walked. A David Espinosa sack bunt made it second and third with one out as Jared Madero steps in. He shows bunt, pulls back, takes a called strike one. So with one out and runners on second and third, TJ Middlestat struck out. Then Starlin Rodriguez reached on an error on the third baseman Silveria. One run scored, and then the second runner was thrown out at home. Breaking ball misses low and outside for ball one. So one and one the count to Jared Medeiros as he leads things off for the Lemurs in the bottom of the fifth. They trail three to one in this game after they had initially took the lead to start the game. It was one nothing Lemurs. Wichita has three unanswered. This ball swung on, looped towards the right side, making the run for it is the second baseman Taylor, or that's Rodriguez, excuse me, and he makes the catch. So that last inning for Wichita to put a nice little bow on that. Left off. So it goes down to Morrison of the home plate umpire Tim Creamer as he didn't think that ball hit Morrison. And we also see manager Kevin Hooper coming in. Two and one. Luis Hernandez, 30 years old, a clubhouse leader. A career 243 hitter at the major league level. He's hitting 254 this season with the wing nuts. As this off speed pitch misses high. And the count now 3 and 1 to Harrison Kane. There is an open base, but it's third base. And this is the number 9 hitter in the wing nuts order. Chase Ray stands on deck. He's 0 for 2, but he is due. He's one of the best hitters in the wing nuts lineup. And this could be serious trouble for the Lemurs if he loses Harrison Kane in this at bat. Lucent comes set at the belt, issues the pitch. It's popped up. It's going to hook foul towards the first base side. It's going to get out of play and be a souvenir for a lucky fan. Nearly a nice catch there by one of those gentlemen in the section there right to the left of the Lemurs dugout. Runners will return to their bases. Three and two the count, two outs. Harrison Kane looking to come through again for the wing nuts. He's hitting 313 with Wichita in his first 13 games with the club. Three, two. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Strike three. Matt Lucent rings him up for his fifth strikeout of the night. The wing nuts get two men on on no hits. They strand them on the base paths. We will go to the bottom of the sixth. Lemurs trail three to one. 
South Texas families never strike out with Driscoll Health Plan. Catch the value-added services we pitch to our Medicaid members. Enjoy a free membership to specific boys and girls clubs. Receive gift cards for completing Texas health care checkups. Restrictions and limitations may apply. Visit us at DriscollHealthPlan.com. Todos sabemos que podemos lograr más cuando estamos listos. Por eso, decidí matricularme en Texas A&M International University. Quiero un título universitario y las oportunidades que me brindará. TAMIU me ha recibido a mí y a 7,000 estudiantes de todo el mundo. TAMIU me impulsa a ser grande, enciende mi mente y hace mi corazón latir. Imagina las posibilidades cuando eres impulsado por TAMIU. Inscríbete ahora para verano y otoño. Visita TAMIU.edu y sé impulsado. 3, 2, 1, number 1 That's Laredo's number 1 Chevy dealer Family Chevrolet turns the best day ever into the best month ever 15% off, not good enough but 25% off, now that makes it the best month ever, with over 600 vehicles available, makes it the best pricing ever, 2015 Equinox 2015 Traverse, not 15 but 25% off, and the best financing rates for the best month ever, 1.9 interest, Family Chevrolet of Laredo.com Come see why the deals are always better at Family Chevrolet Family Chevrolet is the number one volume Chevy dealer for a reason. Every customer rides during our spring cleaning closeout sale with massive price gifts on 600 Chevys. New 2015 Chevy Cruze. How about 25% off MSRP? Wow, that's huge. Or only $199 a month. New 2015 Malibu for only $269 a month. Or 25% off MSRP. Plus two years free maintenance and a 100,000 mile warranty. It's a spring cleaning closeout sale happening now at the number one volume Chevy dealer. Come see why the deals are always better at Family Chevrolet. Dennis Phipps will lead off the Lemurs half of the sixth inning. They trail 3-1 to one against the Wichita Wingnuts. Game one of a four-game set with Bill Harrington. I'm Cameron Songer. Thanks for joining us on a warm one, of course. Can't expect anything else here in Laredo. First pitch to Phipps as the starter Jason Van Skyke still out there on the hill. That fastball misses high for ball one. Phipps 0 for 2 today. A fly out and a ground into a double play. He's looking to Right the ship, fastball, catches the inside corner, one and one. So we talked about the Wichita shortstop Hernandez and his major league experience. Phipps has some as well. Here's the one-one pitch. He's out in front, chasing an off-speed pitch, and that was strike two. Phipps played in eight games with the Cincinnati Reds in 2012. He went three for ten with a double, a home run, and two runs batted in. He's played a lot at the double and triple A level including with the White Sox and their affiliate in AAA Charlotte. That was in 2013. He swings and grounds this one past the shortstop into left field, and there's a leadoff single for Dennis Phipps. You can get him out every now and then, but you can't hold him down for long. He's third in the league with his 350 batting average. And it's pretty rare to see him go three straight at-bats without a hit. So he will lead things off with that single. Kevin Taylor to the plate, the number five hitter in the Lemurs batting order. And he is hot tonight. He has something about Jason Van Skyke figured out. He's two for two with a pair of doubles. Look, Dennis Phipps is in his second season with the Lemurs. He hit 335 last year. He's hitting 350 this year. Kevin Taylor flirting with 300 this year as well. He's at 298 coming into tonight's game. First pitch, misses inside. That one had some motion on it, breaking in towards Taylor in the left-handed batter's box. Taylor's in his 58th game with the Lemurs, knocked in 25 runs, three homers, nine doubles, and a triple on his 57 hits on the season. He hits 247 at home, but 351 on the road. That's a called strike on the off-speed pitch on the outer half. That's not surprising for a left-handed hitter to prefer not playing at Unitrade Stadium. This is not a stadium that favors left-handed hitting. The wind knocks down a lot of balls in that right field. It's much deeper. 345 to right compared to 325 down the left field line, which is better for right-handed hitting. Fastball. This is outside. 2-1 and one now. Phipps on first base. And the Wichita infield at double play depth trying to turn one. They've turned two double plays in this game. One of them was on a hit and run, which Rodriguez caught a ball and then threw out a runner from his rear end. This one swung on, basically a swinging bunt to the pitcher. He'll go to first. He looks to second, a looping throw, and he beats it out. 
Boy, Van Skyke just couldn't figure out what he wanted to do with that baseball. And it's an infield single for Kevin Taylor. That advances Phipps up to second base. That was a slow roller back to pitcher. He turned towards second base, thought about trying to throw Phipps out, saw that that was not a likely situation because Phipps was too close to the base, then turned to first and just airmailed the throw, just a lollipop. And Taylor hustled it out, beat it out, and he has a single. So Kevin Taylor's now three for three in the game. He's on first, and he represents the tying run. Coming to the plate is Juan Silverio. It's three to one. That was the seventh hit of the night for the Lemurs. Wichita has three runs on three hits. Laredo with one run on seven hits, each team with two errors in this game. Juan Silverio at the plate. He's one for one. He knocked in the Lemurs' only run. That was back in the second inning. He also has a sack bunt under his belt in this game. Righty righty matchup. Corner of the infield up. He has one out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Can stand up here in the press box and take a glance down the third baseline. We'll see if he'll get a chance to swing away. Ryan Ortiz, the six foot three, two hundred twenty pound catcher for the Lemurs. And Skike turns toward second. The pickoff throw is not going to be in time. As Phipps has has to slide back in head first. Don't see a lot of throws to set. He started to come set, stepped off the mound, and then made a very quick turn and throw. And the second baseman, Rodriguez, nearly caught Phipps sleeping there. He's back in, however. He leads off second. And Taylor's on first. One out, and here is an 0-2 count to Ryan Ortiz. And the pitch. Swung on, fouled off into the net. So Ortiz stays alive. The former Oregon State Beaver was a sixth round pick in 2009 by the Oakland A's. Two-time all Pac-10 selection with Oregon State as he looks at a fastball in the dirt there for ball one. He's from San Diego, California. Played his high school ball at St. Augustine, home of the Saints. One and two is the count. One out. And here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. He was out in front of an off-speed pitch there. Ortiz will head back to the dugout. He has struck out for the first time tonight and the fourth time in as many games. Two outs and J.U.D. Valdez will come. Comes the throw to the it's not going to be in time. In fact, he gets away from the catcher Ortiz. Heading over to third base is Rodriguez. Here comes the throw over there, and he slides in safely. Four to one in favor of Wichita. Rodriguez going all the way over to third base on that little dunk base hit. And with the throw going home, he decides, well, I got time to take the next base as the ball got by Ortiz. So I would think he gets a single out of that. And on the air by the catcher, the ball got by him. I'm probably on the right fielder, more than likely. And that'll be another error up on the board. And into the batter's box now, Matt Pageant. And the first pitch to Pageant is a strike on the inside corner. So two errors here in the inning. So the lemurs racking them up. And of course, if you catch, uh, count the catcher's interference, that's another error up on the board. And the 0-1 delivery to Pageant, he fouls it off. Matt Pageant on the day, officially one for three. He scored a run back in the fourth inning. Four to one wing nuts. I tell you, they play the lemurs tough. And it looked like for a while there that the wing nuts were not going to be as good as they had been in the past. But they have turned things around as they have worked hard to put some good players on this baseball team. And here they are leading the American Association South, the 0-2, low and outside. But the Lemurs have also put together a very stellar team. You know, they're trying to get all the right pieces together. And that's the one thing about independent baseball. They will chip away and work at the roster throughout the season. And whoever can do that the best usually can have a winning season. 
And the Lemurs have been able to put together winning seasons every single year in their existence. And this Wichita club has been in the playoffs the last three years. The 1-2 swung on a fly ball off to the left. That's going to be foul. Wichita, in fact, won the championship last year in the American Association. So Starling Rodriguez over there at third base. He drives in David Espinoza from second. So he'll get an RBI, but he does reach over to third base on the error by the right fielder. One ball and two strikes. Yoan Montero out there will set and throw home. The pitcher misses low. Two balls and two strikes to Pageant. Matt Pageant, since joining the wing nuts, he's batting 239. Two balls and two strikes. The pitch outside a fastball. Three balls and two strikes now to Matt Pageant. So a couple of open bags out there for the number five hitter for the Wichita Wing Nuts. Both first and second base are open with the runner Rodriguez over there at third. Two outs in the inning, so Yoan Montero just uh, out away from getting out of this. The pitch outside ball four. So that'll put runners at the corners, and Joe Ash Brodeen's coming up to the plate. Seven hits for Laredo, five hits now for Wichita. Did you see that glaring four errors hanging up there on the board for the Laredo Lemurs? Against a team like the Wichita Wingnuts, you have to play clean baseball. Even though they have two errors tonight, they're usually not a team that's going to make a whole lot of errors. They're a good defending ball club. Just kind of an oddity for them to have the two errors up there on the board. Here's Brodeen, and he'll take high for a ball. In fact, you look at the fielding percentage for Wichita. They're currently fourth in the league in fielding percentage with a 978 mark. They've made 49 errors coming into tonight's game, so a total of 51 now on the season. The 1-0 swung on and missed through the breaking ball. The Laredo Lemurs on the other end now have 74 errors on the season. So a big difference there between these two clubs in the error category. The 1-1 one -one pitch, the runner from first go as the pitch is swung on and popped up. That'll get out of play. And there might be more catcher's interference here. And going over to first base is Joash Brodeen. And now manager Pete Cavilla coming out of the dugout. And he's going to ask what's going on here because that's the second time for Joe Ash Brodeen that he's reached base. Edge anymore to go out and beat these teams? I mean, you're a professional baseball player, shooter, I mean, you want to do they're well. They're playing for a record. I mean, they've won 78% of their games right now. They're playing for the league record and a championship. Here comes the 3-1 delivery. By the way, the team that holds that record, the pitch is high, ball four. That's going to load the bases again. So T.J. Middlestad earns a walk. The team that holds the American Association record for most wins in a season is right here. It's, it's 73 wins by Wichita. That was last season, right? Yeah, that was last year. They won 73 games and went on to win the American Association championship. Two outs. Haynes trying to get out of the inning without giving up a run. The batter... Leo Vargas. Vargas up for the second time tonight. He singled in his last at bat. He takes low for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, you're right, though. I mean, St. Paul is playing for that record, and I never thought anybody would beat the record that Wichita set last year, but they're on pace to the 1-0. Call the strike on the outside corner. I think you did the math the other day, right? Wasn't it 78 wins is what they're on pace for? Well, if you win 78% of your games in a 100-game season, you'd yeah. be on pace for, for 78 wins. Right. What they asked on their Twitter was, could you imagine the frenzy if a, a major, like a big four sports team had that kind of uh, record? I just think of that Bulls team that went 72-10. and 10. The 1-1 one pitch is lined into the glove of Kevin Taylor. He leaps high in the air, pulls it down, and helps out his buddy Mark Haynes on the mound. That kind of rhymed. Look out. Feeling it right now. The lemurs work out of the trouble. We're going to the bottom of the ninth inning. 9-1 Wichita. You're listening to Laredo Lemurs Baseball. 
South Texas families never strike out with Driscoll Health Plan. Catch the value-added services we pitch to our Medicaid members. Enjoy a free membership to specific boys and girls clubs. Receive gift cards for completing Texas health care checkups. Restrictions and limitations may apply. Visit us at DriscollHealthPlan.com. Todos sabemos que podemos lograr más cuando estamos listos. Por eso, decidí matricularme en Texas A&M International University. Quiero un título universitario y las oportunidades... Six errors in the game will help out. Swap. And Coronas into the full windup. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball as the catcher Dean had to reach across his body. Two balls and no strikes. Madero saw. Hopefully need, one day. Just need, need eight run home run right here. Just, hey, you never know. Ty Morrison's going to step up to the plate, get a few aliens on the bags out there, and we'll be ready to go. The pitch. Morrison takes a strike on the outside corner. A fastball there from the relief pitcher, Alex Coronas. Nobody around Jared Madero's at first base. He's got free reign out there. So Pageant playing behind him, of course, with an eight-run lead. He can do that. The pitch. Breaking ball away. Two outs in the inning. Ty Morrison at the plate. Morrison on the day with a ground out. And he hit into a double play in the second inning. And he lined out to the first baseman back in the seventh. He scolded the ball over to the pitcher. The 1-1 swung on and tapped off the plate. It goes into foul territory. Remember, that was when Kaminsky was out there. And Morrison hit that ball on a line right back at the pitcher. And he caught it right in front of his chest as he was falling off of the mound. If that ball was just a little bit to the left or a little bit higher, it could have been a whole lot of trouble for the pitcher anyway. I've seen that once in my career, a guy on the mound getting hit by a ball, and I do never want to see it again. One ball and two strikes. Here's the deal. Livery swung on and missed. There's strike three, and that's the ball game. The Lemurs lose this one 9-1 to one in the opener against the Wichita Wingnuts. And that is a tough loss to take for this Laredo Lemurs ball club, but they have time to rebound tomorrow. So we'll take a timeout, come back with the postgame show. You're listening to Laredo Lemurs baseball. Lemurs lose 9-1. to one. Thanks for joining us for Laredo Lemurs baseball, brought to you by Popeye's Chicken, AEP Texas, Armadillo Homes, Ascending Technologies, Ashley's Furniture of Laredo, Capital Triscoll Health.